on a Saturday. H E D S. We have here for another exercise for you. Adding this on to your list of an exercise a day. We're going to look at the feet today, and we're going to do a really simple exercise for the ankle and the feet. So I've got a fair band here, which I'm going to use. Um, we're going to sit sideways on, and there's just a few little things that you need to watch out for when you're doing your foot exercises. So I'm going to take this under my foot, and I'm going to take that under the base or the ball of my foot. And this is really for the ankle joint. And I want you to think about how you bring your foot up. Do you want to lift your toes up? So do I lift my toes in order to take my foot up? Because a lot of us to, tend to subbox the toes down that way. So I want you to think, can I move my ankle from the joint without my toes taking it? So we're trying to isolate just the ankle joint without I'm taking my toes to take it. So we're just going to point and flex. The other things we're going to think about is I've got very hypermobile knees, so actually what I'd quite like to do is lift my heel off the ground, and a lot of dancers will do this. I want you to keep that heel on the ground so that I know or you know that your knee is not being compromised in that movement. So I like to have the clinny band, so I've got a little bit of resistance to help me move. And I've got that, I'm going to cross it so that it doesn't flick off and I'm going to reach through my heel and then I'm going to point through the toe and at no point does my knee or my heel come off the ground. Reaching the toes back and stretching. And the other thing that you want to be thinking about is the position of that foot. So we want to make sure that as we bring the foot up, it's the little toe isn't leading the way. So as I bring the foot up, I don't want the outside of the foot moving before the inside of the foot. So you want to think that the, the base of the big toe and the little two come up together as you reach through that heel and then push away. And right, so what we're going to do for this exercise is we're going to do five on one foot and then we're going to release and do five on the other foot. So we are going to start with toes up and they're going to reach those toes down. And then we're going to lengthen through the heel to bring the foot up. And we're going to reach it down. And we're going to bring it up. And this is a great one for getting those calves pumping that blood back up. So this is really nice to strengthen the lower leg if you've got POTS um, or issues with dysautonomia. Good. And we're going to change to the other foot. Now, if you can't lie on the floor like this, which a lot of you won't, be able to, you can absolutely do this sitting in a chair. And so watching that my toes aren't doing all of the movement, I'm going to reach through the heel and then I'm going to point through those toes. And I'm going to reach out through the heel, not letting my heel come off the ground. And then I'm going to point through those toes and lengthen and release and reach and release one more time and reach. And release. Good. If you feel blocked in your ankles, which sometimes we can, then try it with a knee bent and see if that helps. And you can straighten the knee as you reach the toes, but you can bend the knee as you bring the foot back. And you can stretch. And bend. It's quite nice to integrate that anyway. And stretch. And bend one more time. And stretch. And bend. And changing feet. Do this every day when you wake up and it helps you just to get the blood flowing. And I've got my knee bent as I reach the toes up. And I'm going to straighten as I stretch them down. And bend. And straighten. And bend. And straighten. And if you are a hypermobile dancer, this is really nice to do. And so if I do this the whole time with my knee hyperextended, I never get proper dorsiflexion at the ankle. And what you feel is a stretch up here in the back of the knee rather than down at the ankle. And I ended up with three surgeries to remove bone spurs from my feet because I never let my ankle dorsiflex. So even if you dance and having hyperextended knees um, is normal.
normal when you're dancing. Even when you do that, I want you to do this exercise with the heel on the ground so that you get that movement in the ankle joint so that you keep the ankles healthy. It's really important. So this is an exercise a day. It's Bonnie Southgate, Beach PBS Rehab. Get those feet moving. If you liked it, subscribe. I hope that you are, are watching lots of these videos and doing lots of little exercises to keep happy and healthy. Have a great day.